Today, we're gonna get into how to make something like this in Adobe XD. So with that, let's get into it. Also, don't forget if you are new to me or to my channel, don't forget to like this video and follow me on Instagram as well. All right, with that said, let's hop into it. So guys, this is a very cool design by Aaron Iker. We are going to be doing what we see here on the screen, super quick and easy, all in the Adobe XD platform. This stuff is actually not as hard as you guys might think. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and make three quick buttons. We're gonna make sure that each one has a different speed with this type of animation. Drag, boom. I'm gonna, you know, click on that. Give me that. Why'd I make an R board? <laughs> I'm gonna go down the quarter radius. I'm going to turn my fill. I basically just pulled this all the way up so that I have rounded edges. I'm gonna do a blue button. Why'd I just do that? <laughs> that guys, that's how you know I'm tired today. I was like, I only had one smoothie today. I'm gonna turn down the border. I'm gonna make this a little smaller. We got a button. I'm just gonna put some text into it, fold that out. Make it white. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are halfway there. We'll make this a little bit thicker, but we're fine there, we're fine. But here's the trick, okay? I'm gonna duplicate it once, but I'm gonna turn my repeat grid on. I'm gonna bring this all the way to the top. Repeat grid so that there are three instances of this type. I'm just gonna change the color so you guys can see what's happening here. I'm trying to duplicate as many letters as possible as there are in this word. So B, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Your boy can't count, like I said, tired. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to make sure there are six, and I'll explain why in just a second. You see that each individual letter is moving. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that each one is animating down to a certain degree. So we're going to separate all the letters, but we're going to have this here for guidance. So I have my repeat grid. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit ungroup grid. So now I just have my individual words here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these. I'm going to put a box behind them that has nothing to do with this project just so we do not lose these when we turn them white we want to mask each individual thing out without without having to write out each individual letter and then place it and then animate it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our rectangle in our text control shift M so we have this and instead of having to go in and do this for which I mean I totally can like that. All right, so we have all our individual letters and really what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be animating everything down on hover. So when we hover, everything will get pushed down. When we unhover, everything will really go back up. A lot of people think you can't really time animations, but the further away an element is, like this N is from where the position will be, the final destination, the longer it will take to get into place. So the B will hit first, the N will hit last. Duplicate this, Control C, Control V, bring these down here. I'm just gonna reverse the order of this. <laughs> but on. All right, so we kind of did the inverse. So when we hover, this will come down. And when we've unhovered, it will go back up. And then these letters will come back into play. I need to make another mask. Select all this. Control Shift M. All right. Now, basically what that's done is now only the things that are showing are the things within this rectangle, which is our mask. The bottom ones will be there first. And then on hover, everything will shift down. Turn the opacity down to 30 so I can place everything here. So right now we're setting up the default state. Let me click, please. All right, we got our B. Just gonna bring everything up into R and so on hover, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the inverse. We're gonna make it so that this button goes down and the boards that are up top come down. And so when we unhover, it just goes back up. So now we're just gonna go back to our component. We have the default state. We're gonna turn on our hover state. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to stagger them just like we had before. So I'm just gonna line it all these things. I know it's not gonna be right. But I'm just gonna bring them down here and I'm just gonna situate them. Perfect. When we go back to our component, we're gonna close our component here. You won't see any change. And it's not until we go here. There we go. You guys see that? We have our first animation. Boom. And we can change this based on a couple things. I'm going to auto animate and hover state. I can change the easing. Right now it's on ease out. I absolutely love snap. Nice. It has a nice little swing to it. I like that a lot more. You can pull out these letters that are here even further to exaggerate the animation. So we have our shadow here. I'm going to... It was at this moment he knew. 
he f***ed up. So the issue we were running into was actually with this button here, you have to make sure with your shadows in Adobe XD that you are actually not only naming the layers the correct way, but also making sure they're in the right arrangement and that the shadow types, both in color and how blurred or close to the element they are, are the exact same number. <laughs> so don't, now that I have explained that, it's super easy and the button works perfectly. I'm actually gonna turn down the shadows really quick. This is our final deal right here, super smooth and clean clean for each button and I want you guys to know if you would love this type of content don't forget to like this video subscribe to me on YouTube as well as follow me on Instagram if you guys want to learn how to animate like this even more you guys can learn for free by using Skillshare I can give you guys two months free if you use the link of this video and for those of you guys who really want to start from scratch to really being a master at animation UX in motion which is our animation course let me know in the comments if you guys dug this video if you guys want to see more or what type of other animation tutorials you guys want to see. All right, guys, with that said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll talk soon. Peace.